suppose that your auntie bequeathed you a small plot of land in the country. First thing you start to think about is how you would like to perhaps build a nice little cottage that on weekends you could go and relax and enjoy the bucolic atmosphere of the countryside. But you think about it some more and you know you've always wondered if you had a yen for farming and how nice it would be to have a small farm. And after you think about these two for a while, you realize that you have to make a choice. The land is scarce in the economic sense of being limited. And scarcity gives rise to trade-offs. If you decide to go with the farm, then the country cottage that you would otherwise have had is called the opportunity cost of your farm. Opportunity cost is the benefit that could have been enjoyed if the next best alternative was chosen. Suppose the government decides to engage in a vaccination program to deal with a pandemic. What are the resources used in the option that was chosen? Well, there's a, there's a cost in human resources. It requires a staff. And there's the cost of the actual vaccine. If we want to know what is the opportunity cost of the vaccination program, we don't simply add up the amount that is expended to carry out the program. We look at how those resources might otherwise have been deployed. If it would have gone to, to combating crime and increasing security, then the opportunity cost of the vaccination program is the crime reduction that would have been the benefit of the alternative use. Here's a more instructive example that allows us to get into some of the subtleties of the concept of opportunity cost. University education. What is the cost of your university education? If we start with the resources that are expended on, then we would start with tuition. Tuition, let us say, is about a million dollars for the whole program. Uh, books and supplies is a hundred thousand. And the cost of housing near the campus is let us say five hundred thousand. But the opportunity cost is not the accounting cost. Opportunity cost has to be calculated differently. The opportunity cost is what would you have had otherwise if you had not gone to university? So you would certainly have had the tuition money in your pocket. So the one million counts. You would also have what you would have spent on books and supplies. So the 100,000 counts. But would you have had the rent money? Housing, after all, is something you will need whether you're in university or not. Housing is not a cost of being in university. It's a cost of just being. So the housing cost doesn't count. Now, what about the time that you have spent in school for the duration of the program? That too is a resource that was used up by being full-time in university. That does not have an accounting cost. You didn't spend on it, but had you not been in school, you would have had a job and the job or would have earned you, let us say, $900,000 over the duration of the time that you would have been in school. So the value of your opportunity cost counts tuition, counts books and supplies, doesn't count housing, but does count what you would otherwise have earned. And the actual opportunity cost is what would you have spent that money on if it 
if it would be spent on buying a car, then the car is the opportunity cost of the option that you have chosen.